Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, where after performing a Windows update, a program will not open or cannot open properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the apps icon on the left side, and then select installed apps over on the right. In the search apps field, go ahead and search for whatever app you're having the problem with. And then once you've located it on the right panel here, you want to select the three dotted icon next to it and select advanced options. Scroll down. Underneath reset, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The apps data won't be affected. Select repair. And give it a moment, and then hopefully the problem has been resolved. If you are still having an issue, you can come back in here and select the second option, where if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. Again, hopefully that's resolved the problem. We can also attempt to reset the Microsoft or Windows Store. So if you open up the search menu, type in WS Reset, best match, or come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and open that up, just left click on it. Again, hopefully would have resolved the problem. One final thing we can try here as well would be to run a system file checker utility scan. So open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. And once again, hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved and your program sh should hopefully work properly. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.